I would maybe use a metaphor. I would say it's a little bit like when you have a carpet. And, I, and you know, usually how we're living and going to our musical shows, we're going to seeing a beautiful carpet, different styles, different colors and so on. And if there's dirt, it's always been shoved under the carpet. And the refuge is peeling back the carpet. And together, I hope we look at what's underneath. And maybe it gets swept away then properly, or maybe not. But each person, if they're open to, to seeing what's revealed, can experience something. Voice speaks inside of me. That's all that remains of the original cause. But I'm going to war, because the wealth I do will be the first. The first to go if I listen up. refuge because it's a, it's a place um, I kind of have two concepts one it's in the mind when you escape into your mind and you can find a safe place in there but in a life situation I imagine that the place itself becomes the refuge becomes the safe place becomes where we escape from the falsehoods and the, the posturing that we have outside and then we come in and we honestly experience we open our minds and ears and eyes and we experience something new um, and then by the end, we've had some kind of cathartic experience, hopefully, or at least true and honest. I guess that's my base point. Um, the escape is to somewhere true and honest, where um, the artist can be true and honest and the audience can, can trust themselves to be true and open and honest in their listening. And so that's, it becomes the place. So Refugee One is really a reference to the fact that I'm just like everybody else, an escapee, and I'm just the first one who came in there. But it's open to all. Um, it's the place where we can all escape to. into having a kind of conceptual idea, this idea of exploring manic depression actually. Um, you know, so making a, a solid basis for this psychological analysis of project. Um, but I didn't want it to be intellectual, I wanted it to be uh, very visceral and natural and real. So it was about setting up uh, some the technical arrangement and then just play, just feeling. Um, and for the first time, not having a consideration for the audience. Um, so a completely in a sense, uh, self-absorbed and selfish project, actually. It was about um, what I needed to express as the artist and about, in a way, you could say the mission is to save the artist, but it, it, not even that far. More about just expressing, just getting things out with no consideration, nobody to look up to, no need for it to be even good, just for it to be real. to explore um, 
the feelings and the place I was psychologically and where this goes in topics which are usually taboo. So the idea that um, something like manic depression, where somebody goes from extremes of hysteria and happiness to extremes of depression and melancholy. And, um, you know, we don't talk about this. We don't talk about people with mental issues or problems. explore what's hidden usually in the mind and it's going to be a different thing like you know I'm just expressing as the artist what I'm coming out with but what you're getting as an audience member that's up to you you know you we both bring in something to the party if you like and then let's see what beauty and ugliness is, is revealed in this but I hope by the end um, it's been a journey so can I It's very interesting. Um, I've recently been uh, kind of obsessed with neuroscience and psychology and one thing that it's shown me is that um, emotions come from a lot of different places and they're not usually the places which you, you express consciously. So thinking as to why I was in this emotional turmoil last year, um, I feel like any answer I would give would be a sort of post hoc justification that wouldn't necessarily get to the real underneath. But I think I would say that if you talk to young men or, uh, in this generation, there's a question of what we're for and what we're doing and what our lives mean. Um, and the eternal pressure and frustration of trying to have um, a career that means something or to make something that means something or to have relationships that mean something. And so I, I think frustration and anger have a lot of 
potential sparks. And um, yeah, I, I don't know if I'm clever enough to know, even for myself, what those exact sparks are, but I think um, that's definitely part of the blend. So when I started, I was just trying everything and imagining that I'd really be able to um, to bring people into this world, um, exploring the emotions sparked off by um, depression, manic depression, euphoria, and so on. Uh, actually, ended up happening was it was more internal and it was more of an internal journey. So and so, it's almost like the mirror was reversed back on myself. It'll be interesting to talk back to myself from a year ago and. and see what, what I would have thought of that. Mm -hmm. 